What up YouTube, it's Josue and I'm back with another video. Today we have the top 5 sports cars for under $5,000. Whatever the case may be, whether you're currently in school, you're on a tight budget, you're looking for your first car, or you just want a whole new project car to impress your friends with on the weekend, or you're just looking for another neck breaker car, here's a list of 5 cars that would hopefully help you in your decision making. So let's go ahead and get started. Toyota Celica the car was specifically made for the younger crowd. Toyota was always looking for a way to reduce its price. The sunroof was made out of polymer plastic, never glass. It got up to the point where Toyota put everything in the center console just to reduce the cost of materials and the amount of materials to complete the car. Being the best fuel efficient car of its era with a 1.8 liter V4 pushing 180 horsepower at 6000 RPM with a 7.2 second 0 to 60 rating and an average price of $3,000 to $5,000. A predecessor was never made for the Celica unless you consider the 2016 FRS from Scion which was rebranded under Toyota as the GT86. Mitsubishi GTO Despite being named the GTO, the car was never marketed that way. Instead, they called it 3000 GT. They didn't want the name to interfere with the Pontiac GTO and the Ferrari 250 GTO. Later on, it was rebranded under Dodge as a stealth to become the pace car, but was rejected for the Viper. With a top speed of 155 miles per hour, the 3 liter V6 engine has a maximum stock power of 320 horsepower at 6000 RPM. The average price ranging from $1000 to $5000 depending on the power output of the engine. Acura Integra The third and final generation of the Acura Integra spanned from 1994 to 2001. It was one of the best front wheel drives cars of its class, available in two body styles, a two door hatchback and a four door sedan across all trim levels, including the GSR performance trim. Finding this car unmodified, especially in the GSR trim level can be somewhat of a challenge. With a 1.8 four cylinder engine, packing a maximum stock power of 195 horsepower and a quickest 0 to 60 rating of 6.1 seconds, the price to get your hands on one of these is going to range from $2,000 to $5,000. Mustang GT This is the fourth generation redesigned Mustang called New Edge. This is the fourth generation redesigned Mustang called New Edge. With a rear and front facelift, it also has sharper contours, larger rear arches, and creases in the bodywork replacing the soft lines in the previous model. Despite that, everything in the interior remained the same. The GT model continues to use the 4.6 liter V8 as before, but now it packs 260 horsepower. The Cobra version of the Mustang packs 390 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. With a 0 to 60 rating at 4.2 seconds, you might end up spending a little bit more than $5,000 to get your hands on that car but you can definitely find some good GT options under 5000 Mazda Miata How can I leave out this small monster with a stock horsepower of 133 at 5000 RPM and a 0 to 60 time from 8.6 to 9.4 seconds and a top speed of 126 miles it really shouldn't be a factor because you're going to be able to pick this car up for 2000 to 3000 giving you an extra 2 grand to spend on upgrades because parts for this car are dirt cheap you can get coilovers for 400 or less and turbocharge the whole car for 2.5k like the guy from the Car Passion channel did. The Miata should be a car that's included on everybody's list for cars to get. That's gonna be it for this video guys. If you guys did enjoy it, please smash the like button like you smashed your girl. Help me reach 50 likes on this video. Comment down below your thoughts on what I should do next, top 5 wise or anything in general you guys want to see. Subscribe and help me reach 10,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeet.